Oh, another beautiful day out in the 247 Evil garage, and it's uh, almost end of October, and we're under Humidex. Yeah, I know. Great white north weather. You can't predict it. It's supposed to be rainy and cold are coming up, and the snow's coming. It's coming. But right now, today, it's a beautiful day. And the point of my video is winter driving your Mach 1, or Camaro, or whatever car you have for the summer. Um, I've been following a lot of pages on... Um, Facebook and different places and a lot of comments going back and forth about <clears throat> do you drive your car in the winter? And uh, the answer here is no. I do not drive my Mach 1 in the winter. The tires, the low ground clearance, all that other stuff, plus the fact that I paid a whole bunch of money for this car, even though it's mass produced, um, doesn't warrant that I should be driving this thing in the winter time. Now, if I lived in a temperate climate where it was uh, very little snow, maybe you know an inch or something like that, didn't last, different story might be my only car maybe that that would be snow tires instead of the summer tires and maybe i'd be driving in the winter time but um no uh the mach 1 will not see winter driving use at all and uh neither has the camaro the camaro like i on the other hand i've seen a lot of this generation camaro out on the uh the roads in the winter time in fact um i know one person in particular has a 99 camaro v6 car and it's their winter beater <laughs> so these cars do see winter uh, driving, but maybe not so much the SS uh, cars like mine, my 35th anniversary car. But I've seen the Camaros on the road. And once the, the floors rot and the quarter panels rot, and because that's that's metal. I mean, the doors are sheet mola compound. The floor the fenders, it has urethane bumpers. And, and that uh, that part right there is probably sheet mola compound too. But the rest of it, like the quarter panel and everything that's screwed to it, uh, the floors and the windshield frame and the front fender supports and whatnot, and the back uh, behind the axle, that's all steel. So these cars do rot, and um, not advisable to drive in the winter. But if you're going to drive in the winter time, eh, you know what, that's what it is. But there's not a lot of these on the road, but I do see a few of them around. On the other hand, I've seen lots of regular Mustangs, EcoBoosts, and even the odd GT on the road in the winter time. But um, not this car, not the Mach 1. I've never seen a Mach 1 up in the uh, up around here anyways, uh, in the great white north of Niagara, Ontario on the road in the winter but uh not to say it doesn't happen but this car won't see the winter and it's because i want to preserve it I, you know i paid a lot of money for this car it's a purpose-built car um and i don't i'm fortunate because um i don't have to drive it in the winter and if you've seen my last video uh where i was uh, rinsing out my truck frame up here in canada they put a tremendous amount of not just salt um but sand uh, sand mixed with salt and also this uh, the horrible substance that they call brine which is a mixture of like salt and beet juice and some kind of a liquid they spray on the roadways and that stuff is just absolutely terrible it gets into things uh, like you wouldn't believe and so um, just based on that fact alone and the fact that I live between two great lakes and we do get hit with quite a bit of snow uh, this car is not ideal for that. And in fact, pulling out of my driveway, I've got to take it at an angle so I don't scrape the chin spoiler. It's low to the ground. And uh, not that you can't drive these cars in the winter, not that you shouldn't drive these cars in the winter. That's a personal decision, a personal preference. But my personal preference is no, the car will not see the winter. And uh, simple as that. Um, I got a truck. and But back in the day, uh, I used to drive the rear wheel drive. I mean, I had new Camaros and new Trans Ams back in the day. I remember and Firebird Formulas and what have you. And even a Mustang, as a matter of fact. Um, I did drive in the winter time. Uh, they're just regular cars, and that's what they were. I, I, I commuted with them back and forth to my job, and uh, so what? And it, it gets down to the skill of the driver, really. I mean, a good driver with, with good skills can manipulate and man manage to get down any kind of a snowy road, I'm sure, with the proper tires. I'm, you know, I, I would recommend proper snow tires, not these things here. And these aren't as bad as the Cup 2s. The Cup 2s were... <laughs> They were a good track tire, and that's all I got to say about that. But uh, no, the, the Mustang will not see the road in the winter time, and it's a beautiful, beautiful, warm, sunny, late October day, uh, Humidex advisory up here in the Great White North. But it's not going to last. Uh, it's going to get cold real soon, and we're going to get snow, rain, snow, whatever. It's coming. Um, we'll get into November. It's anybody's guess. So, do you drive your car in the winter time? Do you drive your Camaro in the winter time? Do you drive your Mustang in the winter time? Do you drive your Mach One in the winter time? Whatever. Um, comment down below because I'd be interested to, to find out and hear from, from my viewers and other people. Uh, do you drive your car in the winter? Um, fortunately, I will not have to do that. So I'm kind of lucky like that. Okay, well, I got to get this thing cleaned up because the car curve is going to go on it. And uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do with that one. But I got things to do. So if you enjoy this video, 
Click like, subscribe, comment below, and uh, until next time, I'll see you.